it's a mess. It's, I, I mean, I think somebody needs to come out and explain why this hole has been here so long. Four weeks ago, Kim Padilla was okay with what she thought was going to be some routine maintenance on some underground water lines. Today, however, she's not doing so well. Somebody could have driven their car straight into here. Padilla says two weeks ago, someone added these water-filled barricades and replaced the yellow caution tape with these orange flags. She hoped the next step would be to cover the hole. The longer the hole stays here, the more danger it's going gonna, it's gonna to be for these kids. So we did a little digging and we found out that the water authority is the agency responsible for digging this hole up. They say that they needed to replace a pressure release valve. But then the story gets a little deeper when we try to figure out who's responsible for covering this hole up. Over the phone, the Water Authority told me their records indicate their end of the project is over. And they passed the project over to a contracted out company called TLC Plumbing to build a concrete vault to cover the valve and then eventually cover the hole. I called that company. We have a contract that we may do a bunch of these little things for the Water Authority. Mm -hmm. um, and what they may have done is that they don't have the funding or they don't know whether to get the funding for this particular project. Meaning it's possible money ran out midway through the project and now the two are feuding over who's responsible for finally filling this trench. It's dangerous. You know, I feel that, I mean, something needs to be done.